Hello, everyone. I'm Chen Hao. Let me begin this talk with the overview of our paper. Typically, the goal of training multimodal representation is to learn about the high-level concepts such as the objects and the things. But often, it is just as important to know those low-level imaging properties, such as the type of camera that shoots the photo, its lens, and exposure. These low-level features have demonstrated to be extremely important in various tasks, such as image forensics and 3D reconstruction. We propose to learn these low-level information from the camera metadata that is automatically inserted into the image file at the moment of capture. We treat the whole piece of metadata as language and use contrastive learning to learn joint embedding between image patterns and camera metadata. We can apply our learned representation to several tasks. For example, we can do splice image localization in a zero-shot way. Our model does not use any labels, nor does it use metadata at test time. We compute the similarity of image patterns using our embeddings. If two patterns are dissimilar, they are more likely to be from different cameras and therefore from different photos. Our embedding can be also used as a feature set for other downstream tasks as well. OK, let's go into more depth. We propose to learn these low-level imaging information from such a widely available camera metadata. This metadata is stored in a format known as EXIF. It contains various information about the camera, photo setting, and post-processing operation, and thus it's a free and useful supervision signal. Instead of directly predicting metadata, which can be error-prone, we try to let the model associate an image with the correct metadata. Our setup is similar to clip model, but replacing the image caption with exit metadata. The reason that we can do this is that the content in the metadata file, as you'll see, can be regarded as a piece of text, just like a caption of an image, but just describe the camera information rather than the semantic information. This representation allows us to use the vision language contrastive training technique directly. And our final setup is, first, we concatenate a set of active tags and corresponding values to a piece of text. An image encoder and a language encoder are used to encode different modalities into the same representation space. And a standard contrastive loss is used to align both modalities. We use 1.5 million images from YFCC dataset as our dataset. On the vision side, we randomly crop patches directly from the original resolution image so as to maximally maintain the low-level information. One application of our method is what we call zero-shot splice detection. The splice image contains content from multiple images and hence should have inconsistent camera properties. For example, here is an original source image, which someone has manipulated by adding content from another image. You can see that it's semantically very consistent, so it may be helpful to use mismatches in low-level imaging detail to detect the manipulation. We can divide the image into patches and fit it into our trained image encoder. As we can see, the output feature has already captured a lot of difference between tempered and untempered region. Then we can go one step further to take the dot product between the embeddings of different patches, resulting in this affinity matrix. And finally, we can use either main shift or normalized cut to cluster it into a per pixel localization result. Note that the exit metadata and task encoder are non needed at test time. Other than a splice localization task, our learn feature can be also used in other tasks that require low-level information or camera understanding. With the linear probing over our learned feature in two tasks, which is radio distortion parameter prediction tasks and various type of image manipulation detection tasks. The camera-related information in these two tasks is not directly included in the metadata, so our model did not see it during training. 
We found that our learn feature significantly outperformed the feature output by traditional representation learning method, which indicates our model does learn general image information. In conclusion, we learned visual representation that convey camera properties by creating a joint embeddings between image patches and the camera metadata. We showed through experiments that the image metadata embeddings are used for representation for forensics and the camera understanding tasks, and that the image manipulations can be identified zero shot by identifying the inconsistencies in an image embeddings.